Hello there. Oh shit, I have the YouTube chat turned on. Don't worry, I have Twitch chat on. Uh, oh. Yeah. It looks like I'm gonna have an expedition duel with Yeah, let's call Friend to duel. One second. We're gonna have an exhibition duel with Nova Aokami. Start voice call. Hello? Hello? Is that Nova Aokami? From channel V Rivery. <laughs> is <laughs> Oh my god, is that Dulog the Dulog Dulogs? No. I'm her rumor red. <laughs> oh right, you're her rumor red X, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, exactly. Where's where's the, the invite? The friend duel. I just sent it Oh wait, I'm gonna be in this room first. I literally just sent you one, but I'll do it again. An invite? Do it again. I don't see anything. Yeah. Okay, I'll make another one then. Well, just send me the dual room code and I can just go in there. Okay, okay. That works too. Okay, I'll just hide the room so no one else can see um, it. Um... Oh, are you streaming me again? Yeah. Oh I do... Oh my god. Your build's so different. Well, right, it's... It's just like, I just, I cut it up. I just do like, I showcase a DAC on the YouTube and then I go over to Twitch to just kind of fuck around, I mean, mess around a little bit, sorry. Oh, I see, I see. Naru Hodos. Naru Hodos. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Are you ready? Also, I sent you the code, bestie. Also, hi, Dulux chat, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they all say, um, hello there, Nova, uh, Toxic Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Are you toxic? What the f- I'm toxic, I'm so nice, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm so nice, whatever could you mean? You are literally the nicest person I have ever met. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where Duelix is like, oh my god, I think Nova's being too nice to me. Is she, is she like, is she like being too, like, is she being like weirdly nice to me? Is, is she acting like this? Like, no, I'm just like this, bro. You know, I'm I was, I was just kidding about the nice thing, but I, I did actually say that. You did actually say that. Yeah, I did say that, but I was kidding about you being the nicest. First, nicest person I ever met was probably like my football coach from high school. That dude was like a saint. Which is odd because usually, you know, football coaches are known for being mean and not nice. Yeah. She's cold hearted, not toxic. What's oh, I guess that's I true. The first compliment I've heard the dual say, it wasn't supposed to be one. She, she, she changed it around on me. What, that I'm so nice? I mean, are you? Yeah, I'm so kind. Can Nova Mini have a say-so off? Where the f- <laughs> What? What the fuck? Why where all my- What the fuck? Dude, where the frick are these dragons? Where are they? I don't know. Where the frick are them? What? I know. Where the hecky are they? Wait, which version are you playing? Where the heck? Oh, Odd Eyes. <gasps> I just destroyed oh, an Odd Eyes deck earlier. Yeah, yeah. Triff Gaming. Fuck you, why would you do that? They're so cool. Wait, what? What do you mean? Dude, may I just say, I feel like ev I want to say at least every like ten minutes, I'm like, oh my god, you should ask Triff Gaming to collab with you. I'm like, dude, do you think this man knows who I am? <laughs> <laughs> he knows. I can just do that. Triff knows who Miwa is. Oh yeah. Wait, I, I've oh, seen dude, I've seen him in, in Miwa's chat a few times. He hasn't been there recently, but like he knows of VTubers. Oh my god. He's he's a very friendly person. Yeah. If you hit him up, he would probably be on your show. Like... Oh my god, I'm just peepo shy. He's been in my streams too a few times. I think we follow each other on Twitter. 
Do, do you want me to uh, talk to him for you? Do you want me to organize something? No! Do, do you want to... No! Do you no! want a collaboration with Triff? I can make it happen. No. Well, I don't. I don't want to say I can't. I'm not going to speak. I'm. I'm not going to speak for 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 Triff. There's always the possibility he's he doesn't want to or is busy for other reasons. No. But I'm just saying it's not impossible. Oh fuck! I think I fricked up. Oh, I think I fricked it. Wait, you, I think you I have? It. How, how do you mess up? I think. Actually, I'm not going to say how do you mess up because pendulums are incredibly complicated. But what did you mess up? Yeah, it's because I, I, uh, I did my hand. Oh. <gasps> Astrograph Sorcerer? That procs Astrograph Sorcerer, doesn't it? How'd you mess up? That's like yeah. two of the most broken pendulum cards in the game combined right now. No, it's because like I, I think I might have messed up not having an extra card in the pendulum zone. Because in theory, I could, oh, frick, add back. Uh-huh. And then draw a card. Oh my god, this advantage is nasty. Can't you also proc your arc <laughs> pendulum? Uh, yeah, I, I can do that if I had another pendulum card, another ar a dragon pendulum zone, but I don't. That's the problem. Oh, okay. The best combo. You got yeah, hand Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I was like, oh, I fricked it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got I got Nene. Oh, okay. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I just pass. Okay. Turn endo. <laughs> Excellent. This is a great board for me to break. <gasps> oh, thank you. Delicious. <sighs> Are you going to use blue eyes against me, Bestie? Yeah. Oh, there it is. My boy. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> Why would I not use the blue eyes white dragon? He's my boy, be best friend. Good night, Nova. All right, Bessie, have Ganini. Is he your boyfriend? Oh my God! Wait, I didn't you say it. I didn't meeting? finish oh it. Tell me, tell me all the lore. Shut up. You literally said he's your boyfriend. You Shut literally up. just said that. Shut and up. Said it in Japanese. No, I didn't. Yeah, said it Shut in up. No, no, I didn't. And adventure engine. You oh, can't this prove. Is disgusting. Oh, I oh, I, I'm not done with my engines yet. You haven't even begun to see the oh, amount of I engines. Hate this. That I'm running in this I, deck. Oh, oh, I hate this. Don't worry. Dude, listen, you can't be doing this to me. I'm a single father of 16,000. Oh, frick. <laughs> I heck, oh, no. I I'm a heck. single father of 16,000 as well. Wait. Yeah, Draco back. The breedable dragon. I hecked something up. What did you heck up? <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. Oh, I unplugged my headphones so I couldn't hear if you were saying anything for a second. Oh, I didn't say anything. Okay, so from oh, the deck, disgusting, from the deck. Yeah, this is this is fun. We're having a blast. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I'm a single father of nothing. I'm a single father of sixteen thousand. What do you mean? I'm a single father of sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Me too. Oh my gosh, she Same Z's. Okay, since I forgot the card oh, was in my hand, I wasn't able to go into the oh good card, so this is a bad board. Astrograph Sorcerer. Oh, bestie. <laughs> oh, oh no! Now you can't use it anymore. Oh, no. <gasps> My blue eyes are just too good. What can I say? Dude, you're built so different. <laughs> oh my god, you're I built so I just drew so like a really good Bestie. hand. Why, thank you for the exhibition duel, Nova Uwu. Thank you, Bestie. Yes. Thank you, of course, uh, the duologs, the duologs, duologs. Yeah. AKA, who remember at X, AKA of the, the Manalogs, AKA, AKA Nova Aokami of Channel Reverie. Uh, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? That's, that's true, oh, right? Dulug's boyfriend carried. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, Dulug's boyfriend carried hard. You're so right. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's built different. He's so built so right. different. He's created uniquely, bro. Here, let me get a, a link to your channel so I can give it to them. 
Okay. Oh, thank you, Bestie. Much, much appreciated. Yeah, much I'll, appreciated. I'll let you. I'll let you go back to your stream. That was very. Yeah. Have fun with your stream, Bestie. Yeah. See you later. Okay. Now. A feat tier list? I was gonna look up some tier lists. I'm not sure which ones to, to do. Because I, I don't have one prepared. Usually I prepare them myself. Let me see. If I go over to these tier lists, the waifu tier list, I'm gonna go to Yu-Gi-Oh tier list. Let's see, we have a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh characters, memorable Yu-Gi-Oh waifus. I don't know who any of these people are. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh girls, Yu-Gi-Oh waifus, Yu-Gi-Oh waifus, deck tier list. Ooh, a deck tier list. Uh, <laughs> okay, sure, this works. Let's see, Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes. Ooh, a Yu-Gi-Oh archetype tier list. Plants, Cubics, Mist Valleys, Wick... Holy fuck, this is huge. No, that's too much. Are you going to do a Runeterra tier list again? A Runeterra? I've never done a Runeterra tier list. Top 10 what cards, Astrograph Sorcerer? Best combo... Rank all ritual archetypes, monster type tier list. Well, if they have monster type tier list, ooh, they have a hand trap tier list. That's not all the hand traps, though. Ban list. Let's go to the next page. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ban list. This. Of uh, this. The fuck is that? Who the hell are these people? A dragon made tier list? That's too small. We should do a Yugi tuber tier list. Yugi tuber. Do they even have that? <gasps> they do! This one's kind of old. You joined the queue? Excellent. Do a fast food tier list? Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! content creators, Yu-Gi-Oh! tier list, Yu-Gi-Oh! tubers I can beat at a screaming contest. <laughs> fast food. Best fast food? Okay. Yeah, this works. Alright. I'm gonna close this for now. Spider room. Okay. I have to set this up real quick. In studio mode. Um... I think I have a tier list room. Talk show screen. I don't remember where this... I, I, I put this thing at. Scary stories. The cobalt mine. Was it in the cobalt mine? Damage step. Boar screen. Oh! It's over here. Okay, I figured it out. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Alright! Which one was this one? Yugi Tube Your Tier List. Best Fast Food Restaurants. Yu Gi Oh! Content Creators Tier List. Doesn't upload enough. <laughs> These are so toxic. <laughs> Yugi tubers somewhat complete tier list. 
You YouTubers I can beat in a screaming contest? Yu-Gi-Oh! tier decks, tier list. Where's Yugi VTubers? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. You can't beat to tier coder, somewhat complete tier list. Yugi tubers I can beat in a in a screaming contest. Um they have the advantage. They have the advantage. I I might be able to beat Farfa in a screaming contest. No, do that one. Rada? Rada has the same voice as me. I think we're evenly matched. Uh, I don't watch his content enough, so probably no. Triff? No, I can't beat him. Dziff? I could probably beat Dziff in a screaming contest. I don't know who this is. Team Samurai? Of course not. I don't know who this is. Uh, I could probably beat them. Ruggles? I could beat Ruggles in a screaming contest. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. MSTV? We'd probably be evenly matched. No, I can't beat him. Uh, I can't beat him. And we'd be evenly matched. There we go. Easy, easy peasy. And try screaming Mr. Logs? Okay. <gasps> uh... Yu-Gi-Oh! deck tier list. Man, this one's huge. What was this one? Yugi Tuber complete tier list. Content creator tier list. Yugi Tuber tier list. Let's do fast foods. Okay. Too scary, too loud. Are you living with someone? Uh my little brother lives here. I don't know if he's home though. A and W fast food. This one is F tier. A potato chips tier list. I've never had A and W before, but I've heard it's bad. Arby's B tier. Baja Fresh. I don't know what this is. Bimbies. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Uh, Boston Market. I don't know what this is. Burger King. Burger King's kind of mid. I don't know what this is. Carl's Jr.'s kind of mid. Checkers, don't know what this is. Ooh, that one's pretty good. Oh, Chipotle is the best. A&W's an all franchise. Ours is the best one with all the meats. Church's Chicken, that one's all right. Cookout, never heard of it. I've never heard of that. Del Taco, Del Taco's kind of mid. We'll put it at C tier. Denny's, Denny's is all right. Domino's Pizza, it's all right. You can't really have bad pizza. DQ, DQ is not half bad. El Polo Loco, not half bad. C tier. Firehouse Subs, Firehouse Subs is pretty good. I'll put that in B tier. Five Guys, never had of it. IHOP, IHOP's all right. In and Out Burger, In and Out Burger's overrated. We'll put it in B tier. Jack in the Box, I like Jack in the Box, but it's kind of mid. Jersey Mike Subs, ooh, I've had these. These are all right. Uh, Jimmy John's, Jimmy John's is surprisingly good for subs. We'll put it in D tier. Jobly, no. KFC, KFC's all right. Little Caesars, oh, I love Little Caesars. C tier. Never had it. McDonald's, oh, I love McDonald's. We'll put it in D tier. It's not that great. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Oh, I love Panda. B tier. Uh, never heard of it. Papa John's, can't have bad pizza. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I'm just going to all the pizza in B tier. And Popeyes, I've had that before. It's all right. We'll put it in D tier. Hmm, North Americans watching this. I'm a North American. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Quizno subs. They're all right. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Shake Stack. I've heard of it, but I've never had it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Sonics. All right. D tier. Steak and Shake. Never had it, but I have heard of it. Ooh, I love Subway. C tier. No, I have Taco Bell all the time. I had to put that at B tier. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Ooh, Waffle House is delicious. 
Mawa, Wendy's. Wendy's, hmm. It's it's my sister's favorite. I'm not really too big on it. You know, pot bellies. I'll put it in C tier, whatever. Waterburger, Waterburger's all right. White Castle, never heard of it. Never had it. Well, actually, I have had this before. It wasn't very good. Uh, never had, never had, and never had. Okay. Sir, this is a Wendy's. I like Wendy's chicken nuggets. I don't really like chicken nuggets, though. Well, I don't hate them. It's just like, I don't get the hype from them. People fucking love chicken nuggets, and it's like, okay. They're all right. I don't hate them, but I don't understand the hype for them. Wendy's has the best spicy nugs. I don't really care about chicken nuggets. That's probably why. It's all right. F tier. Well, Waterburger. Yeah, I guess I. I'll put it in D tier. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as these two. I don't know if A and W is bad. Actually, I should put. I've had A and W once, and I remember it wasn't very good. But I don't remember it that much. I'll just put it over here. How about that? KFC is C at best. I, it is in C, right? Oh, it's in D. Well, okay. Fine. Dualox isn't a good boy. It doesn't get the chicky nuggies. I'll, I'll buy some chicken nuggets after stream. How about that? I've only had White Castle from the frozen burgers at Walmart. Yeah, me too. And they weren't very good. You know what the best frozen meals I've ever had, though? From Factor. They're not even frozen meals. They're, they're, I had like a sponsor with them today. They, they give you this box, and they have, like, these meals that look exactly like frozen meals you'd get from, like, the, the frozen food aisle. But they actually taste good instead of, like, garbage. Like, I remember when I saw an ad for it. It was on one of the MBT's videos. I was like, oh, my God, if this is actually good, this is going to solve so many problems I have with, with meal prep. And so I bought it to try it first. And it was ridiculously good like i'm surprised like i can't even make chicken as good as what it's in that i'm just heating up from the microwave and then i saw that my uh, they had reached out to me like hey we want to sponsor you and that my my sponsor agent who who handles all those emails told them no <laughs> and i was like i called them up and i was like what the fuck tell them yes i love their service and that, that was that was it today a Gemini monster? I don't know if they have Gemini monsters for a tier list. Duologs, didn't you get high and drive to White Castle with your best Korean American friend and get your car stolen by Neil Patrick Harris? Um, no, I've I've never gotten high before. The Shield Logs, dude, it's great. I fucking love I love them. It's great when you get sponsored by a service that you actually use. You guys understand the feeling. Did I miss in and out Yeah, so I put in and out in B tier because it's incredibly overrated. You know what's really good in the States? In, in, um, in Arizona is Pete's Fish and Chips. Like, if you want the best burger on, on this, I don't know how widespread Pete's Fish and Chips is. But, you know, it sounds like, you know, it's, it's a fish place. But actually, they have the best burgers I've ever had. Like, I've had in and out and I was like, they're good. Don't get me wrong. But the best burger I've ever had was from Pete's Fish and Chips. What about Culver's? What the fuck is Culver's? Burgers from a fish place? No, I know. It's because they have like a secret sauce. And it's it's really good. What is this? Chick-fil-A is overhyped. I tried it twice. Shut up, Minnie. It's not overhyped. It is exactly hyped. It is delicious. It is the best. I would have it every day if the delivery time wasn't 40 minutes. Bro, Culver's is an AZ. What the fuck is Culver's? Is that one of the ones I put in the I've never had before? Culver's? Literally never heard of it before. I cannot believe he has literally no taste buds. I know, I can't believe Mini like, actually just doesn't have taste buds. That is a shock. I, I question everything that I've ever had any conversations with her before. Subway is S tier. I I do like Subway, but if I I don't think it's S tier. 
I wouldn't even put it in B tier, but I do like it. Yeah? Yeah, what? Why is Taco Bell so high? Because I have Taco Bell all the time. I like Taco Bell. <laughs> I, I order most of my food through a DoorDash, and Taco Bell is very customizable. And I can't really have beef, but I can have chicken. So I just like get chicken substituted for everything. Taco Bell's good. Yeah, I like it. Pizza has greater than Dom. I just put all the pizzas in the same tier. Like, I don't think I've ever had a bad pizza from any of these places. Taco Bell's a 40, 50 minute wait every time here. Dude, not only is it like super customizable on DoorDash, they usually get it to my house in like 10 minutes. Like, it's the fastest. Like, if I need a meal quickly, if I order from Taco Bell, it'll be here like instantly. The only problem is that Taco Bell isn't really real food. So, <laughs> Whataburger and D, this is blasphemy. You like Whataburger? We don't even really have any. It's it's like, it's all right. There's nothing special about it, though, in my opinion. But I haven't really been there too much. It's good. Shit, I just realized I haven't, I've been ignoring all of the subs and bits. Uh, th thanks for the resub, Max Quack. And, and Sir Blarso Solo. And Antonio. And Daddy Steel. And, and Chase with Hace. What the hell, five months? It's, you've only been here for five months? I've been streaming for, for nine months. How dare you? And Psychicscape 14. Mr. Streamer, my pathetic redeem before I lurk. Oh, okay. Um, Minifull. <clears throat> You're worthless. You absolute piece of garbage. I hate you. And I hope that one day they shoot you into space, but without a helmet, so that you slowly lo lose all your breath and then get, like, G-forces and pass out. But, but they have just enough so you don't pass out instantly. And then you get... You land safely in the Atlantic Ocean because you have superpowers because of your your chickenness, and then and then you you get home and you make a full recovery, and then you stub your toe. Let's go! Thanks for the the gifted sub, Psychic Escape fourteen. That's a lot of gifted subs. Best redeem ever. Damn it. I wasn't supposed to go like that. Costco food court? <laughs> we have a Costco. I, I don't ever go, though. I don't like to leave the house. Would you like to play something like Hollow Cure, Mr. Logs? Could be fun. <gasps> that does sound fun. I wouldn't mind playing that on the Secret Channel. I love the Secret Channel because I don't have to care about stats or anything over there. Or, or subs. Or, or literally anything. I can just play whatever I want. I'll have to do that. I do like the... I did play the Vampire Survivors. That was pretty fun. And I like Hollow Live more than I like Vampire Survivors, you know? <gasps> Costco meals at the food court. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> while, while she's here... What should we call it? So... Whatchamacallit, you know how I went to the casino on, on Saturday to go gambling and stuff? Well, I went with two other people. One of them was, um, was, was Leah, and the other one was, was Sato Bliss. And while we were there, so there was like an older lady who, who talked to us at a table. They wanted to know if we were going to stay there because it looked like we were leaving. And then, I don't know, I don't remember what Leah said to her, but as we were leaving, she's like, oh my god, it was a MILF. You think I should go get her number? <laughs> and I was like, she looks like she's 60. <laughs> I didn't know that was your range. It was like, she, she, was, she was a very, I wouldn't say she was very old, but she looked like she was 50 or 60. She, she was definitely an older one. I was like, oh wow, that's what you mean by MILF. She was mo she was very motherly. That's that's definitely a good way to put it. But like when when you say milfs, I assume you mean like, you know, 30-year-old moms. The ones with with small children. 
not like the ones who probably have children the same age as you. <laughs> you mean like actual? I want them kids grown. Oh my god, I had no idea that's what you meant. That's um. Well, I mean, it's it's your taste. It, it was just hilarious seeing you get so excited about. It. It's like, oh my god, did you see that milf? And I was like, what? <laughs> that's what you were into. That way I don't have to raise the kids. Oh my god, you're crazy. The kids are out of the house. Yeah. Yeah, those I, I, she's more of a cougar hunter. Yeah, exactly. No, I think cougar is something else, right? I think cougars are like it's not really a milf. You maniac certified jilf gatherer. If they're hot, they count. Exactly, a sage ame. Cougar's an old lady into young boys. Yeah, I think that's something that does not apply to this particular situation. Or gals. Okay, maybe it does apply. Had to agree, I should have gotten her number. Why? <laughs> I mean, I would have loved to have seen you try. That would have been hilarious. What is this stream? We're, we're doing tier lists. Here, that was that. You put Arby's? I love Arby's. You see, I, I have um I have IBS, so I can't really have burgers. And Arby's has a whole bunch of alternatives that I can try instead. And I love the alternatives. They taste great. But like if you can have burgers, why would you not just go to a place that has burgers instead, you know? Arby mac and cheese is based? Is it? I love buying mac and cheese from places. Like I can't have mac and cheese, but I still buy it from every place I go to just to try it out. I'll have like a quarter of it and throw the rest of it away. <laughs> but I like to try it anyway. Jilf tier list with Jane Fonda. A gilf tier list? I'm not going to do that. But I could do a different tier list before we get into this one. If you guys have some good ideas. Arby's gyros were surprisingly decent. What's a gyro? What the heck is this now? This is archetype tier list. Why is it in tiers? Like, tier is like a very specific thing. Oh my god, there's too many of them. Alistair. Multi-faker. I actually have to like scroll up for this. Grenmaju. Blue Eyes. <laughs> Meme deck. Tier 0 everything? No, an equip spell tier list? I'm, I'm just going with tier lists that are already made. I haven't made one. Yu-Gi-Oh! Streamer tier list? Do they have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Streamer tier list? I'll have to make one. Someone remind me. No, I won't. Because ranking other content creators is kind of... Uh, it's it's not kosher. Do a mac and cheese tier list? <gasps> mac and cheese from other places. An armpit tier list? Shut up, Ami. Cyber Dragons? Wait, no, that's a rogue deck. Yeah, that fits. Meme deck. Um, Dark Warriors. DDDs. Decent competitive deck. Almost competitive deck. Good casual deck. No, it's a meme deck. Cyber Dragon equals anal beads. Oh my god, Ame. Do you have any other jokes? Hi, where's Super Quantum? Nobody plays Super Quantums. Harpies is a meme. Cosmo is almost competitive. It used to be competitive. I, I don't know if Nec can Necroz even compete anymore. Background music? Sure, I'll turn on some background music. Is that your fan sound? Wait, you can hear the fan? You shouldn't be able to. A WoW race tier list? No. Don't let the Master Duel Reddit hear you say DDD is only okay. I hate DDD. Uh, Orcus, uh, without, I mean, with all their bands, it's not very good. Exodia Armpit is strong. Toads, Toad is banned. There are no tier zero decks. I mean, Necroz lately with all the Despias. Necroz and Despia works? Okay, there, there's too many tiers in here. 
What the fuck is this? Alien meme econoforce meme aromages meme as a thought what the fuck Toad sounds like toe Dogmatica and Despia work if you try really hard. No, they don't as a thought This isn't an I guess it is an archetype. I'll put it in meme tier Dante meme black wings also meme charmers meme Crusadia, basically a meme. Two Crusadia cards. I don't know what the fuck this is. Danger? Danger is an engine. They're not a deck. Hmm. That sounds like a tier. This sounds like a slur. Wait, what sounds like a slur? But Inspector Border isn't a meme? No, Inspector Border is legit. Uh, is this Despia? Despia is a good deck. Azathot? Oh, Azathot. Yeah, he's he's a banned card for being too good. But the archetype he belongs to isn't really a, a thing. Dark Lords? Dark Lord Despia? I just got here. What's the ones on tier one? Um, Dark Warrior combos and Toad. Totally awesome. I assume with with Sprite. Good, I hit on Mills in front of Dual Logs and Sato. Wait, what? How was vacation? <laughs> so... <laughs> she did. That's true. But that, that, that was just a one-time thing. Otherwise, she was pretty normal. That was the only abnormal thing that happened. If I tell stories, it won't be as exciting as that. Let's see. Dinosaurs? Pretty good. Rogue deck. Endymion? Alright. Uh, that's a meme. What is this called? What? What do you mean, What? We went to the casino. We did we did a uh, gambling at at the at the slots. Fluffle, that's what it's called. Meme deck. I beat you at mini golf. Is that not entertainment? Right. We also went mini golfing, and she beat me by two points. And it was all because, well, it's it's mini golf. Who cares? Although, I'm surprised I wasn't able to do mini golf. I'm usually, I can, like, get holes in ones, like, all the time. Especially since I used to, like, work at that place, you know? It was like, I can mini golf. But, shh, Leah got hands, what can I say? Is Leah cute? She's like, whatchamacallit, just imagine a supermodel. And that's basically her. You're welcome, Leah. Any hole is a goal. The One Piece is real? The One Piece. The One Piece is real. The Simplog? Shut up. Oh, hey, it's Tina. Mr. Message. Bork Bork? Imagine an average white woman. <laughs> Fluffle ain't meme. Get out of here. It is a meme. Nobody wins with Fluffles. You use like a Fluffle engine and other shit. Very accurate. Damn, she's Angelina Jolie. Yeah, if if that's I don't know who Angelina Jolie is. That sounds like a famous person though. I respect floofles, dude. And I think I actually got like heat stroke when we were doing mini golf, cause like we were sitting inside talking afterwards and my stomach was hurting, and I got water and I nursed it and my stomach stopped hurting, and my skin was also turning red, and I was like, how? We weren't even outside that long, and I was drinking water the whole time. You wanted to sit outside? I was... I, I'm, I, I live here. I should not be getting heat stroke that easily. I know I don't go outside very often, but I do go outside to go for, like, a very short walk. <laughs> Leah has triangle. What? What do you mean, don't Angelina Tomb Raider? Magnificent. I, I don't watch Tomb Raider. Or play the game. What does the duologs look like? Imagine a spider. Yeah. You guys know what I look like. You can see me right now. Just just look on screen in the top right. Duologs, you just need to touch grass is all. I, I go for a walk every day. But when I lift weights, I lift weights like in a room. An air-conditioned room. So, you know. A spider VTuber. <clears throat> This means logs needs to touch graft Austin. 
more often. I don't have friends. I don't have any opportunities to go outside. You take hot girl walks? Nice. Yeah, exactly. I used to go out more often, but the only friend I had who, who I used to go out with, uh, she's no longer with us. So now I don't have any friends here. So it was nice being able to go out and do stuff again. Dude, it was so much fun. I gotta say, I had I had a lot of fun in both of those things. However, it's okay, I'm here every six months. <laughs> I gotta say, gambling's pretty mid. Like, every time I lost, I was like, uh-huh. And every time I won, I was like, cool. I didn't really care. In fact, I was trying to lose my money as fast as possible. But it was still so much fun just because, like, you know, the, the company... It was like, man, we don't have to go gambling. It can just be literally anything. Poker was... Oh, yeah, poke. We didn't play poker. We played blackjack. Blackjack was fun. I was surprised. Like, we went up to the blackjack table, and you just randomly asked the dude, like, hey, can you teach me how to play blackjack? And the dealer's like, okay, let me give you a rundown on how to play this, like, competitively. He's like, so, what you do here is... He, he assumed you knew how to play the game. And he's like, you do this. And when you had 14, you, you don't do this. And you do this hand signal for this. And you can look up this, this chart online. Yeah, he was really nice. He was like, okay, let's let's play a game. And it was like... Uh, she actually, like, won. I got, got a 21. Did you ever turn in those chips? I don't remember. So pretty much gotcha, but real life? Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. I, I get more excited if I pull a, a cool UR. Like, a royal rare UR of a card I like in Master Duel than I did from, like, you know, winning a jackpot in one of the, the, the games. Leo also won a jackpot. I did. I turned it with all the other slot winnings. Okay. Did you actually, like, profit that night? I think you did. I know me and Sato lost money. But, like, I wasn't trying to win money. There was a point where I could have... So when you and Leah dropped by MiWa's stream the other day, you were at the casino? Yeah. She was on uh, MiWa's stream, and I thought she was, like, being disruptive. So I went in to check. I was like, sorry, ignore her. And then I, 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 I pulled, um, I took Leah's phone so I could look at the chat logs. And I was like, oh, that's not half bad. I'm speeding it on a laptop. I'm spending it. Oh, yeah. Your laptop. <laughs> because I still can't believe you thought your AirPod mics would be good enough. <laughs> Rich logs, ignore her. Uh, that was, that was funny. That sounds like a drunk, drunk Leah. Yeah, she was on, she was on Miwa's chat because we were talking about Miwa and how great she was. And she goes to her, her stream and then starts like, um, messaging her. And I thought she was messaging like being belligerent. So, so I opened up the, the app too and I was like, just ignore her. And then I was like, wait, what the hell did you say? So I, I took her phone from her and I looked through her messages and I was like, oh, that's not bad at all. Love bombing her. Yeah, basically. It was it was a much nicer than I was expecting. So I was like, okay, that's not bad at all. Do we fair Leah's always belligerent? True. L drunk Leah is basically just normal Leah, but um, shit, there's not much of a difference, to be honest. Was I asking for feet pics? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I want you to tell me to shut up. No. More fun? No, you, you act pretty much the same. I, like, forgot you were drunk most of the time. Is Leah a woo girl? What's that? Drunk Leah is just Leah, but drunk? Yeah, pretty much. She, she just uh, spits more often when she talks. That's about it. But I had my mask on, so it didn't matter. I remember one time I didn't have my mask on, and I think I got some spit, like, right in my mouth. I was like, gotta put my mask back on. Randomly yelling woo? No, she doesn't do that either. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you spit a little bit when you talk when you're drunk. I would pay for Leah to spit in my mouth. I'm sure most of you would. <laughs> oh my God. Best day for the dual logs. I, I can't get sick. Do you know how many people were not wearing masks? At, at the, I'm sure they clean the stuff and stuff. 
Would you say drunk Leah sort of unhinged? She gets drunk on stream all the time. It's, it's just literally that. Like, I forget she was drunk half the time because she's just normal. The only difference is that she just spits more often when she talks. That's about it. I went to Mary Leah so you get Canadian say sip so she desperately wants. You're Canadian? Leah, never marry Lacios. He's annoying. The babysitter logs. Hey mods, would you get a shout out to Leah's stream? Yeah, one of the mods, give us a, a shout out to the stream. Oh, Miwa, we were just talking about you. I want to marry Leah in general. Dude, Miwa, did you get the voice recording we sent? I could play it on stream if you want. If if Leah and As and, and Miwa give me the okay. So like what happened was we were going to um we were gonna do like a Twitter post. A a Twitter uh voice recording. Because I was the only one person who had an iPhone and apparently that's the only thing you can do. And what happened was when we were doing the thing, Leah just started saying how much she loved Miwa. So it would be kind of weird if I posted that to my account. So I didn't post it, but I did record it and put it on, uh, I, I removed some of the background noise and I sent it to them. My waifu is so pure and lovely. Here, let me play it for you guys. You guys should be able to hear it. Let me just open up Discord. I'll play it through here since I sent it to Miwa. Okay. What is her last name? Miwa. Okay. Miwa Bell. What is her last name? Miwa Bell. Miwa Bell. Miwa Bell. I love you. And I appreciate you. And I think that you deserve the best. And I hope that I'm Miwa Bell. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Miwa. I am so proud of you. You have done such a good job. Congratulations. I don't think I ever congratulated you on hitting partner. Miwa Bell. Look, I know you guys say she sounds so drunk. She was hamming it up for the recording. She sounded normal as soon as she was done talking. Congratulations. As soon as we were done recording, I mean. I'm hitting partner. She's going to think you're making fun of I'm... it. <laughs> Why would I be making fun of her? Why, I'm making fun Why would I? I'm That's honest. So I'm genuinely yes. being nice to Miwa Bell right now. Please let me up. We Miwa Bell. We are have you ever read? Have you ever read? Have you ever read? My first night with Duke. <laughs> oh, I read that one. That was so funny. good. It's so good. Yeah, it's that Mewabo? Yeah. It's a manhwa. Yeah, it's, it's a Atoma Isakai Mewabo. It has some really fucked up stuff it, in it, though. It, Does it? Like, what kind of fucked up stuff? Like, I love fucked up shit. Here, let me. <laughs> I, I stopped it. This is the best, this is the best voice tweet ever. Is it? Yeah, we didn't post that voice tweet. Dude, half an hour afterwards, we were having, like, a conversation about ethics. I did read it. You actually read? Oh, yeah, you read um, Ultimate Isekais, too. I forgot about that. You recommended one of them to me. Dual Logs finally has a friend? Well, I do have a friend who lives in Canada. The Babuska Drunk. LMAO. Oh, and, and Leah too, of course. <laughs> I remember when we were when we were talking, Sato's like, okay, so we're friends now that we hung out, right? And I was like, uh, more like I'm friends with Leah and you're friends with her, so we're you know. We we're definitely friendly to each other, but we're not friends. The first night with the Duke, so first night with the Duke is a is a manhwa. What the fuck? <laughs> what? It's true. The that's not rude. I was just being honest. I pride myself on on telling it like it is, being 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 honest all the time. And we did have that conversation like three more times throughout the night. And poor Sato. Sato's he's he's a he's he'll get over it. He's a nice guy. He he has a good head on his shoulder. The friendly zoned. Ever heard of a white lie? No, I don't need to do that. Have you ever had someone say like, "Hey, we should totally hang out sometime." And you're like, "Yeah, let's let we should." And then neither of you guys ever like contact each other about it? I don't do that. If I don't want to hang out with them, I'll tell them no. And if I do, I'll actually reach out to them. It's like, "Hey, remember we said we're going to hang out?" 
Let's go do something. And that's me every day. <laughs> I can see Miwa doing that. You see Furman is getting animated? No way. Yeah, so I'm just very blunt about everything. That that way you know if I say like I actually uh want to be your friend or if I like what you do, you know that I mean it because I never lie about that shit. There's there's no pleasant lies with me. Miwa seems the type to ghost everyone super terrible. <gasps> Miwa has never once ghosted me. A single time. She replies in a very timely manner. But we don't really talk very much. I forgot. I, w I was going to talk about something. Yeah, the, the My First Night with the Duke. So it's a Korean manhwa about this girl who gets reincarnated into another world. And she goes to a party and she teaches all these medieval people how to do like jigger bombs or whatever. And then she wakes up the next day and she's in like this duke's bed. Because apparently they slept together. And she's like, oh no, you're you're the you're the main characters. I'm not supposed to sleep with you. This isn't gonna happen. So she tries to get him to like not fall in love with her. Because the dude is like smitten with her immediately. And then through a whole bunch of misadventures, eventually she's like, Okay, I guess we can like each other. And then he's like, you know what? You know that first night where you got drunk? I uh, took advantage of you and slept with you. And she's like, oh, how romantic. And I was like, wait, what? Th they're not going to talk about how fucked up that is? Is it because it, he's, he's a desirable person? <laughs> how romantic. <laughs> she's like, I was actually not drunk that night. Uh, and they just never address that as like a problematic thing. That's what I mean by, like, there's some fucked up shit that happens in there. The whole premise of the story is, like, it's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big deal in the story because they both like each other. Very much. But they didn't really know each other when that first happened. And her biggest concern wasn't that she had slept with him, but that, you know, he was supposed to sleep with someone else. It was a pretty good manga. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't half bad. It's just that was, you know, there's just some problematic stuff that happens in those those isekai uh, otome mangas of it, occasionally. That That's all I mean when I said, you know, hey, there's some me messed up stuff that happens in there, you know. This is weird. It feels weird. Yeah. Does it matter? Yep. Uh, I know. Don't worry. Wait, you're talking about a manga? Yeah, it was a manga. What's it called again? My First Night with the Duke. Truly the isekai of all time. Yeah. I, uh, I actually read a lot of them. Or I have read a lot of them. Recently, I haven't had, uh, as much time to read them because of the streams go pretty late. Ever since I started streaming, I haven't been able to read as much because, like, after the stream is over, I usually hang around whoever I raid chat for a bit. And then I do a little bit of work. And uh, I have, like, half an hour and I just catch up on whatever I'm reading. But I, I should make time for that. Maybe I should just end streams earlier. The Isekai of all time is Overlord. I love Overlord. So, anyways, let's go back to this tier list. So, what was this one? This one sucks. There's a bunch of garbage stuff in here. These aren't even real archetypes. I'm just going to put them all into meme tier because they're actual just gar... Oh, wait. This one's not that bad. Uh, Marine Cess is a rogue deck. Monarchs. Okay, this one's also a rogue tier. Joel? Who's Joel? What does Joel mean? Did you read the Isekai Spider thing? Of course I read the Isekai Spider one. Meme deck. Prank kids. Meme. Meme. Rongominion. Meme. Meme. Salomon Greats. Basically competitive. <gasps> Tier elements. All of my decks are meme. Of course. Joel. Joel. I don't know what Joel means. As much as I hate Medulture, that shit is broken with the F logs. No, it's not. I can't wait for Leah. I used to get that time I got reincarnated as the dual logs. <gasps> Whoa. 
then actually well I'm not gonna say it yo it's the logs make another tier list exactly it's a spinning fish in Farfa's chat wait what's this this one, fiance's observation log of the self-proclaimed villainess. Wait, what about that one? The isekai logs? Not watching Farfa streams confirmed? No, I just watch his videos. I don't watch his streams. They're too long. And the only things I like when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! are like gimmicky decks. Or someone who has uh, a very attractive personality. Who's, who's, who can keep me entertained the whole time. And it's hard to find people who can do that. Logs, when you add in a chibi Leah throwing item, I don't like to, as, I don't like to have like assets that are based on other people's brands on the streams. Because like, what if we have a falling out, you know? Then I have to remove that and it's kind of awkward. It's easier just to leave them off the whole time. Why are you calling me out? It's, it's fine if you have it, Miwa. It's not like we're ever going to stop talking to each other. Well, I mean, unless you stop streaming, of course. Then we probably would. That's very valid. Wow, but will we? Um, No, probably not. But, like, what about all, all your other friends? What if, like, I get into a fight with one of your friends and then you stop talking to me because of that, you know? Like what happened uh, yesterday. <laughs> Fossil deck? Are fossils on here? Oh no. Congratulately obligated to be friends, remember? I don't know. I can't imagine Leah doing anything that would make me voluntarily stop being her friend. She can even come to my face and be like, I hate you and I've always hated you and I don't like you. And I'd be like, that's kind of cool. I, I like it when people don't like me. That's that's not a negative to me. We'd probably stop talking at that point for sure, but I probably still wouldn't dislike her. <laughs> You're planning for failure, my guy. Uh, not really. There's, like, there's other reasons you don't really want to associate. You wouldn't want to. It's not a big deal. I could if I wanted to. You can't blame him. He's a spider. So they don't have emotions like we do. Dude, I took a sociopath test at the casino. Because apparently um, Leah scored pretty high on it. So did Sato. And I wanted to see what I could score. And I didn't think I would score very high, but I did. You did not? Sato was saying you scored pretty high. I scored medium. <laughs> I got like a 47 out of 60. Which was uh, very high levels. And I was like, this test is bullshit. Saddle's a fucking liar. I smell gaslighting. Took a sociopath test and turns out you're a spider. I got a 27, which was average. I got like a 47. What kind of casino has a sociopath test? No, no, it was on the phone. Because like, sure, we were at the casino, but we didn't actually gamble very much, to be honest. It was probably like 25% gambling and 75% just talking. I got a 47 too. I don't know how the fuck I got a 47. Like, the test is bullshit. It's not a real test. Oh my god, wait, send me a link. I'm so curious. Okay. I'll send you guys a link to the test I took. Am I a sociopath? Quiz. Um, Was it this one? Oh, I think I might still have it on my phone. Yeah, this is it. Here, I'll put it in chat. This is the one I took. The whole stream is derailing. <laughs> I guess I could just show it to you here. Start test. I agree. Continue. It's wrong to cheat because it's unfair to other people. Somewhat agree. 
My primary loafing guy is to get as many mice things as possible. No. It would be distressing if I succeeded because someone else failed. Well, let's go back to the tier list. He's a cheater? Shut up. Love how many VTuber girls are here in chat. Are there that many? <laughs> Is a sociopath the sociopath logs? I can't see it. Let's go back to the tier list. I can't see it because I got an ad. Well, that's another thing. That's another reason I like the, the secret streams because there's no ads because it's not affiliate. <clears throat> Here's making a VTuber harem. Pfft. Shino birds, let's go. Oh yeah, Shino birds. Meme tier. Meme tier. Meme tier. This one's always pretty good. Didn't Sky Strikers win an event recently? This one's rogue. But birds? You guys can take the, the, the quiz on your own. I'm not doing that on stream. Oh man, my nose is itchy. Okay, logs, I scored a 46. We are besties. See, it's so easy to score 46. Like, I don't even choose bad answers. It is like, no, you have a 46. I was like, what the fuck? I'm not a sociopath. I'm an empath. I, I care too much about other people. That's why I have anxiety. Well, general anxiety. It, it, there, there are specific types of anxiety. Heroes, meme, okay. Does okay in casual environments. And you said I had a high score, SMH. I I was just misremembering, okay? I didn't say it. I was just saying what I remembered, and then you corrected me, and I was like, oh, okay. Relatable. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to do the test now. Now I'm curious. It'll probably give you guys all super high questions. See, I got a 41, got a 33. Yeah. Like, you specifically have to, like, metagame the test to not get a high score because it's it's not a very good test. Congrats for all sociopaths. I'm not a sociopath, though. A true Draco meme? Did I put true Draco in meme tier? Where? Oh, that's true Draco. Uh, decent competitive deck. You guys are sociopaths. I'm normal. I think Leah might have cheesed the quiz if she only got a 27. I wish all sociopaths a very happy morning. <laughs> Lux isn't even trying at this. No, I am. I just didn't. Like, why would you use this one to represent true Dracos? They don't even use this card half the time. I have anxiety too. Very strong. Yeah. You see, I, I care too much about other people's well-being. And it stresses me out ridiculously. To the point where I have to, like... I, I, I base my life around dealing with my problem. And so I don't really have the problem. But it is a problem. And it's generally because... I care too much about other people. But, like, in a very specific way. Like, I don't care what people think of me. It's not like a social anxiety type of way. Where usually people who are shy, they care too much about other people's opinions of them. And I don't really care about other people's opinions of me. I just care that they're, like, alive and well, you know? Heroes. Wait, no, why is Neo separated? Garbage. Red eyes. Garbage. <gasps> Zombies. Almost a competitive deck. A sociopath problem? I think that's like the complete opposite of a sociopath problem. Let's see. Why is this separated? This is the worst tier list ever. Oh, this one's pretty good. Decent competitive deck. What are Dark Lords in up there? Dark Lord Despia. Synchros are not half bad. Pendulums? We'll put pendulums in a good casual deck. The sociologue. Shut up. I'm not a sociopath. The test is bullshit. When someone cheating on a sociopath test, make them a so psychopath? No. Uh, drag. Oh, Dragon Link's good. We'll put Dragon Link in tier three. This tier list is painful to me. Tier two. Excuse me. There's no such thing as tier three. Meme deck. Meme deck. Meme deck. Zodiac. Tier one. There we go. The anxiety logs. Yeah, I have general anxiety disorder. It's a, I got a diagnosis from a doctor. 
Holy shit. Meanwhile, you managed to score a 64 out of 64? Where's Eldritch? I don't know. This fucking tier list sucks. Bad news, I was gifted a sub. Now I have to subscribe to Ame against my will. Good luck, guys. I can do this. <gasps> oh, no. You have to subscribe to Asage Ame from the, the twitch.tv slash Asage Ame. Dude, on Saturday, we played the game um, Played Up on her subathon. And that game, I wasn't too keen on it because I played um, a similar game before. And it wasn't very fun. But Played Up is way better. It's like, what's that name of the game where you like run a restaurant and you have to cook food and serve it to people? It's like a really popular version of it. Overcooked. Yeah, Overcooked. I played Overcooked before and I didn't like Overcooked very much. And Played Up is basically like an Overcooked clone, except it's more fun. <laughs> and I was like, they, they didn't even really change much about it, but it was way more fun than Overcooked. That was That was a good time. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it for tier lists. There's there's no other real tier list unless I finish the the bullshit test. Unless you guys have an idea for another tier list, I can look up. I didn't really make any tier list today. Usually I, I make them myself because the ones they have available on the site are garbage. Am I a sociopath? Hell no, I'm not. Fast food tier list. <gasps> Do they have an anime tier list? Oh, I gotta do that. I've watched literally every single anime that's ever existed. I got a 30 i I'm an average sociopath. <laughs> oh no, Tina. You know, the, the test was wrong for me, but you know, it probably works for other people. An anime tier list. This one has a bunch of normie animes on it. This is an anime character tier list. Ooh. Amazing anime tier list. This has a bunch of normie ass animes on it. We'll do it. I wasn't surprised. Oh my god, Tina. First, we'll do the character tier list. I have to check this real quick to see if they have my favorite character in all of fiction on here. I don't see him. How do they not have fucking bare room? Well, whatever. Are we normies? Yeah, you guys are all a bunch of normies. Okay, let's go to the anime character tier list. So, Master Roshi, F tier. Jirara, 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 fuck, I can't say his name. D tier. Uh, garbage, Kilua, he's alright. Oh, he's funny. We'll put him in D tier. Ace, Ace, he's kind of bland. Frieza, ooh, Frieza's great. We'll put him in S tier. <gasps> I love Ein's Ungol. He's not a very good character, though, but I do love him. Uh, he's shit. He's shit. Uh, he's, he's, he's alright. You don't like Kilua? He's, Kilua's alright. He's like, he doesn't really do anything. Uh, Abido, she's alright. Ooh, Iskalad. This guy is amazing. Uh, Baki. I don't watch Baki, so I'll put him in F tier. He, he's kind of bad, even though I like that show. No cell. Yeah, this list isn't very good. Uh, Ochika, she's all right. Boruto, he's he's all right. I'll put him in E tier. I don't know who this person is. Uh, the scientist dude. Logs, I'm going to cry. Albedo. What, you don't want Albedo in E tier? She's all right. I can put her in D tier, I guess. Who is Boruto? It's Boruto, right? First two characters are pervs. So? Oh, yeah, Jirara and that one. Okay, Reiner, the, the armor titan. Oh, I like this dude. We'll put him in C tier. Luffy! Luffy's a great main character. We'll put him in C tier. <gasps> the the boarhead dude. He's he's kind of dumb. I'll put him in E tier. Ooh, Zenitsu. I love Zenitsu, even though he screams all the time. D tier. Beerus. I fucking love Beerus. A tier, next to Ein's Ungal. Goku is mid. Oh, it's it's that one dude from Vinland Saga. Oh, I love this guy. I gotta put him in B tier. I forgot his name, but I, I love this guy. Can we put Zinsu above anyone? I love Zinitsu, even though he screams a lot. I like his, his power. 
L? Oh, L's awesome. S tier. Easy. I don't know who this is. Uh, people really like this character. Man, I'm really bad with names. <laughs> I'm so fucking bad with names. <laughs> What's his name? The clown dude. Um, <laughs> Hisaka, yeah. Hisaka, people love Hisaka. I think he's just alright. I'm gonna put him in D tier. Oh, this girl's like one of the number one waifus ever. I didn't watch the show though. Gone is kind of mid for a, a main character. Nah, he sucks. Hisuka. Bungee gum. Yeah. Ooh, the old dude. Uh, he's all right. We'll put him in at E tier. Ooh, I love Kakashi. We'll put him in C tier. Uh, he's shit. Ooh, Bardock. He's he's a nobody. The main character of Jujutsu Kaisen. He's kind of mid. We'll put him in E tier. I don't know who this is. Ooh, Yami, he's the best part of Black Clover. I gotta put him in S tier. Like, Yami saves the show in the early seasons of Black Clover. Like, Black Clover early seasons are so... It's so ridiculously generic. Except for Yami. He's just so great. He kind of just, like, saves the show by himself. And then it gets better later on. NTR stands for Netero. Yeah. I love that character. Is C tier? Yeah, they're all mid. I I'll adjust the tiers later. Uh, let's see. The main character from Tokyo Ghoul. He's alright. We'll put him in E tier. Uh, the serial killer from My Hero Academia. People really like this character for no reason, even though she's garbage. Um, the main girl from Tokyo Ghoul. I don't remember her very well. F tier. Naruto Sasuke. Sasuke is much better than Naruto. C tier. No, he's not as good as Kakashi. Fuck that. D tier. <gasps> Law. He's like the best part of One Piece. We'll put him in B tier. Sakura. She's alright. Uh, Light. Oh, he's a great main character. We'll put him in A tier next to Beerus. Vegeta. Vegeta is better than Goku. C tier next to Kakashi. Who the fuck is this? Hmm. Is she... The, the captain from Black Clover? Because this is a weird image of her. I don't think I don't think it is. Those, those clothes don't really fit her. Rangeku? Melorina? No, she's... Yeah, I'm thinking of Melorina, but I don't think that's who this is. Rangeku? No, she's not the girl from Bleach, either. I don't know who this character is. Toka is my favorite part of Tokyo Ghoul. I don't, I don't think this is from Bleach. Fuji. I don't know what the care. I don't know what anime this is from. So I put her just bottom. Uh, I don't know who this dude is either. Not Kila in D tier. Fine, I'll move Kila. He's not as good as Vegeta or Kakashi though. I'll adjust this later. Okay, so it's a dude who summons shadows from Jujutsu Kaisen. He's kind of boring, but he does have a cool power that's not shown in the anime yet. We'll put him in F tier. Oh, it's the shield hero dude. Yeah, he belongs in the shit tier. Let's see. Main character from uh, Seven Deadly Sins. He is actually garbage. Merlin, also bad. <gasps> Meroom? Literally best character ever. I didn't think he was on this list. Oh my god, I love Meroom so much. I could make videos. I, I, I have considered making... I don't make anime videos, but I wanted to make one just to explain why Maroom is so good. I name like all my characters after him whenever I make a new World of Warcraft character. He is just is is just a masterpiece of a villain writing. People think the Joker is one of the best villains just because they haven't watched Hunter X Hunter yet. He he's he's the main villain of the Chimera Ant arc from Hunter X Hunter. Do it, you coward! I don't have time. Okay, Deku is shit tier. Naruto, he's alright. We'll put him in F tier. Nezko, she's cute. We'll put her in C tier. <gasps> the the Wizard King from Black Clover. Oh my god. I can't spoil the manga, but he's great. I fucking love this dude. Ooh, Captain Levi. He's the best part of... Of Attack on Titan. Piccolo, he's alright. 
Zorro. Ooh, I love Zorro. We'll put him in C tier. Uh, Sakuno. God, he is... His name is... What the fuck is his name? I'm so bad. Likes villains? No, I don't like... It, it's it's complicated. I don't like him because he's bad. I like him because his character is good. Sakuna, close enough. This dude is such an asshole. Like, oh my god. I remember people kept comparing Jujutsu Kaisen to Naruto because, you know, he has, like, something sealed inside of him. But this dude is, like, actually evil. Unlike the Nine-Tailed Fox where you're just told it's evil, but he's actually not. This dude is like, yeah, he's just straight up. Not only is he evil, he's, he's fucking crazy, too. Mean for no reason. Yeah, like, just straight up, like, chaotic evil. Um, He's really good at being evil, though. Like, I don't like him, but I think that's just because his character is so good at being unlikable. Yeah, he, he's just, like, straight up chaotic evil. You could never be partners with him. He, he doesn't work with anyone because he'll just kill him for no reason. Jujutsu is just a bleach ripoff. <laughs> it's more of a Hunter Hunter ripoff than anything. Saitama. I love Saitama. We'll put him in E tier. It's kind of boring. Potato Girl. I don't know why people like her so much. Gojo. Ooh, I love Gojo. We'll put him in double S. I really love Gojo. I'm just a Gojo fanboy. Uh, she's uh, nothing. Oh, he's like one of the... Only he should have been the main character of uh, My Hero Academia. We'll put him in A character. Gojo's mid. Shut up. Someone banned Corner Sheep. Okay, the dad of Vinland Saga who was alive for like two episodes. He's he's alright. He just wasn't around very long because he died so quickly. The gay logs. I'm not gay, but Gojo is a great character. And I love him. Why is Sakura so high up? Yes, E tier is too high. She, there's nothing wrong with Sakura. She was a cool fight against the, the puppet dude. Let's see, the main character in Vinland Saga, he gets better development later on and is still kind of annoying. We'll put him next to Saitama. The best characters of Vinland Saga are definitely the villains. Let's see, um, oh my god, this guy's just actual shit tier. He's the worst villain ever. All Might, All Might's cool. We'll put him in D tier. Okay, this is just the girl with the black cat in ble in in Black Clover. She's all right. We'll put her in F tier. No, E tier. She's all right. Not bad. Sakura's a nightmare. Yamcha. <laughs> I know Junk really likes Yamcha. We'll put him in F tier. Oh my God, this dude. He's he's the flame dude, the the flame uh, pillar from what's it called? Demon Slayer. He is actually great. We'll put him in A tier. I love this dude. I probably love him because he died so quickly. The main villain from Demon Slayer. He's an asshole. We'll put him in E tier. He's good at being an asshole, but he's not that good. He's kind of generic. Uh, that's Baki's dad. I don't know enough about Baki. That's the the main rival in... in fuck, what's it called again? Black Clover? He's kind of generic. We'll put him on the same level. Yeah, you tell him, Pomu. We'll we'll put him next to the main character. They're not both very good. Okay, the the Beast Titan. He's kind of annoying. Shanks. I love Shanks. We'll put him in C tier. And the main character from Attack on Titan. He belongs the very bottom of shit tier. Okay. Now we can adjust the list. So, do any of them uh, deserve to be next to Merum from Hunter x Hunter? Where would Cell go if he was on there? I'd probably put Cell in A, a tier, maybe. He's pretty good. Gojo, You think Gojo should be next to Merum? I like Gojo. I'm a huge Gojo fanboy, but I don't think he's, he's that high. Frieza? Frieza in double... I can agree. Frieza should be in double S tier. I like Frieza. Only Griffith? Fuck Griffith. Ein Sama is too low. I think Ein's is appropriate. I love Ein's. I love the show because of him, but I don't think he has as much character as these guys do. Actually, I don't. I think he has probably just as much character as Captain Levi. We can pull Captain Levi down to A tier. S tier is a little bit too high for Captain Levi. 
What are we doing? We're, we're raiding. We're doing tier list. Dulogs won't put Frieza in GOAT because he's Black Frieza now? No, because no one's as good as Merum. GOAT is just for... It's for one person. Unless someone else can match Merum and, and goodness. None of them are half as good as Merum. Vegeta is top tier. You think Vegeta should be in B? I can agree in moving Vegeta up to B. What is Black Frieza? Black Frieza is his new form. Law should be A. Zoro or Luffy got to go up in my opinion. Otherwise, I kind of agree with most. Um, yeah, I don't mind moving them both up to B. I think Luffy is a great main character. Even though main characters in Shonen series are usually bland. I love Luffy. He's probably one of the best Shonen main characters. Just because he has such a I don't give a shit about anything attitude. And plus, Zoro is just cool. Why does Frieza have so many forms? It's because he went for a 15 minute jog. I love the explanation they made to make Frieza relevant in Super. Was that he just literally never trained before in his life. So after six months of training, he achieved a form stronger than Super Saiyan. And I was like, you know what? Kind of bullshit, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. That makes sense. So people, yeah, it's, it is BS for sure, but like... I think it, it's it's good enough to me. I don't know. It like out of all the bullshit explanations they could have given, I kinda like that one. I don't know why. It just like scratches my brain in the right way. The spider leader hunter hunter would have gotten goat as well. No. I'd probably put him in S tier. I I like him, but he, no. No one is as good as Merum. Like Merum is just like a master class. It's hard to find a character as good as Merum. I can't even think of anyone who comes close. Crollo? Yeah, Crollo's pretty cool. I love when Luffy said, can we get much higher and higher? Yeah, then he showed his massive schlong. Frieza's whole I've never trained before it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love Frieza. He's such an asshole. And he just, like, is unapologetic about it. But he's also not as much of an asshole as Sakuna. Like, he is too much of an asshole. Like, oh my god. Frieza at least has some standards. This dude is just straight up crazy. Luffy freed a country because a girl gave him food and a dude said he was stupid. He's great? Yeah, pretty much. In terms of storytelling quality, Frieza's power boost sucks, but it also kind of makes sense. Yeah, like, I don't know why. It, it obviously just a bullshit excuse, but it, it makes sense to me. I love Miriam's JP voice act. I don't think I've ever heard his... Does he have an English voice actor? Sakuna the Shibuya arc is downright horrifying. Yeah. Like, people who are fans of Sakuna, I don't know how they can stay fans of him after that arc. Once it gets animated. Because, like, I can understand before. Because, you know, he does kind of help out a little bit. He's a little bit of an asshole. But once he comes out in that arc, and he does the things he does, I'm pretty sure everybody will be like, oh, shit. Well, he's no longer my favorite character. I love evil assholes. <laughs> he's like... He's... He's he's like... I don't know. He's, he's really bad. He's a great villain despite him being so unlikable. Yeah, exactly. That's why he's still in B tier, but like, he's just so unlikable that I, I don't really want to put him higher. They do a great job making him unlikable, but he's... Too unlikable. He's like King Drawfree. Like, sure, King Joffrey, like, the, the actor or whatever, they do a great job making you hate King Joffrey. And he's he's just like that, except even more despicable. Is Nero on this list? No. I don't, I don't think they have too many uh, light characters. This list isn't very good. But they do have Merum on here, so I'm happy. And they also have the Wizard King on here randomly. He's a great character. Like, oh my god. I can't explain why, though, without ruining... Like a huge reveal in the manga, though. I think Hisuka needs to go down. I don't like him. I like him enough, but I, I don't... Like, there are people who really like him. Like, he's one of their favorite characters in the show. And a show that has Merum in it. But there's people who don't like the Chimera Ant arc, so they have invalid opinions. Where's Aang? I don't know. He's so unlikable that he's likable. The Wizard what now? The Wizard King from Black Clover. He's like the strongest person in their universe. He's like their Hokage. 
if you watch Naruto, know what that means. Chimera Ant was so good. Yeah, it was so good. Okay, let's go over to... What were the other ones? Create an anime. What's this one? Animes? <gasps> Ooh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Excellent show worthy of praise. What the fuck is this? Does anyone recognize? I don't I'm gonna skip that one for now. Uh, I know what this one is. It's kind of mediocre. Never watched it. Sailor Moon? Never watched it. No, actually, if I haven't watched it, I should just leave him down here. Blood Plus? Never watched it. Ooh, Samurai Shampoo. No. What's this one called? Samurai... Afro Samurai. Afro Samurai is pretty cool. Not Sailor Moon. I haven't watched it. <gasps> Samurai Shampoo. Oh my god. Less than Stella. It's kind of bad. Then we have Helsing. Helsing's alright. What's this? I don't know what this one is. B stars. Oh, I like B stars. Average. It's maybe it's above average. The first season's pretty good. Shampoo age like milk. Man, Shampoo has one of the best first and last episodes. But it's 25 episodes long. There's like the first episode and then there's 23 episodes of filler and then there's the final episode. <laughs> and the filler is it's all right, but most of it's kind of bad. Champlain has some great episodes. The weed episode is also great. I hate that episode. But I know which one you're talking about. Okay, Inuyasha, I never watched it. Uh, ooh, Soul Eater. I don't like it. Uh, Madoka Magica. Ooh, uh, Masterpiece. I don't know what this one is. Akame Got Kill. It's all right. Detective Conan, haven't seen it. Bleach, ooh, I love Bleach. It's average. Hamtaro, less than stellar. Bobobo, -bo -bo. it's it's a kid show. Inuyasha, I actually I have watched some Inuyasha. It was just really bad. I'll put it in unwatchable tier. Where's Soul Eater? Not I love Soul Eater. Not it's I love Slice of Lives. Shinchan, I love Shinchan. Maybe it should be an excellent show. It's great for what it does. Now Then Treasure. Don't know what that is. Don't know what this is. Don't know what this is. These are some fucking boomer animes. I don't know what that is. Ew, I don't want to watch that one. <gasps> this one is Kill the Kill. Kill the Kill is pretty average. No Lupin. You haven't watched Lupin. One Piece. Ooh, One Piece is pretty good. Excellent show. All, it's, not a, it's not a masterpiece, but it is really good. Ooh, Dragon Ball Z is... I like Dragon Ball Z, but it's kind of average. Inuyasha unwatchable? Well, Inuyasha is boring, so of course it's unwatchable. Next up, we have Fooly Cooly. Fooly Cooly is kind of weird. I'm going to put an average tier. It might even be less than stellar tier. It, it's all right. Um, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, this is probably a beautiful work of art. Like, bordering on just excellent show. I don't know. This one's kind of divisive, in my opinion. It's either excellent at which FMA. I'm just going to go with either one. So, Brotherhood, because that one's better. I'll, I'll put it in excellent show. I might move it up, though. Um, Haven't seen Ghost in Shell. Haven't seen that one. Haven't seen that one. Akira. Akira's all right. I'll put it in average tier. Uh, Hunter Hunter, excellent show. Easy JoJo, JoJo is above average, barely. Uh, I don't know. This is Monster. Monster is overrated as hell. Uh, Kiku, these are some movies put in here with anime. Man, this is such a fucking normie list. Uh, I love Death Note. Let's see, I haven't seen that, I haven't seen that. Paranoia Agent, ooh, I like Paranoia Agent, but it's kind of weird, we'll put it in, we'll put it in above average. Excellent show. S tier, I don't know about S tier, like, it's, it's kind of just random. Pokemon, <gasps> Pokemon is, it's a kid show. Hmm, I have, I haven't seen that, I haven't seen that, I haven't seen that. 
Haven't seen that. Saka Why the fuck is Sakamoto in here with all these other, like, 80s anime? It's... It's... It's, it's average. It fits its premise. Spirited Away... Oh, I have seen Spirited Away. It's... Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Oh, I have seen this one. This one's okay, too. It's just about, like... A dude and his girlfriend who dies. No Code Geass? I've seen Code Geass. Was, I haven't seen Code Geass on here yet. Yeah, this list kind of sucks. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Everybody, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Masterpiece tier. Zoids? Oh, I fucking love Zoids. Naruto? Garbage. Cowboy Bebop? Absolutely unwatchable. Unwatchable garbage. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, I won't put Zoids up here. I was that was a joke. We'll put it in average. I do really like Zoids though. Yu-Gi-Oh should be up here though. It's a work of art. Okay, I think that's enough tier list. Let's let's go watch. Let's go play some some Yu-Gi Mans. Hey, it's a me. It's it's a me. Uh, the dual lags. Yeah, Dural, the monster cardo. Boo, an ad? There's an ad? <laughs> the fixed Bebop? No, Bebop's overrated as hell. In my opinion. Actually, I don't know why I said that. I don't actually believe that. I believe I didn't watch Bebop early enough. So I've seen, like, all of the tropes that it has, and they were copied already. And I've seen the tropes in other media, so it was just kind of boring to me. I don't think it's overrated. I just think it's like Evangelion. I didn't watch it early enough in my anime career. So like I already seen it all done before because it originated from Bebop. Like I didn't enjoy Evangelion very much because I've already like seen all the references. You know? You know, you know? And copy room. Is Bebop really that good? I didn't enjoy it very much. But I can see why people would. Because it created so many tropes. Um, clear queue. Okay, everybody, you can join the queue now. Hit exclamation point join. And then I'll randomize the queue. And I'll pick whoever's at the top of the queue. And then I'll clear it. And then do it again. Okay, it looks like it's full. Okay. So, it's your turn, Minimum Mini Hurl. Minimum Mini Hurl, where are you at, Minimum Mini Hurl? Chain Burn FTP. Are you MM over here? Table one, sir. Okay, let's go, MM. MM. I just watched a big part of Shippuden again. I can't believe how much I hated it. <laughs> What's wrong with Shippuden? Kind of looks like the broken spell card Kaiba had that destroyed every spell in your opponent's deck. Wait, what? You mean the crush card virus? That card was so broken. And then when they, they printed it basically as is in the actual Yu-Gi-Oh game and it became broken there too. Virus cannon? Oh no, that's that's not it. I was thinking of crush card virus. Virus cannon? Yeah, I think that's the one that was also uh, created as garbage in the actual game. <gasps> Snake rain? Holy shit! The card vi Kaiba used was called virus cannon. Yeah, the virus cannon in the actual game is your opponent sends one spell card from their deck to the graveyard for every monster you tribute when you activate it. So if you tribute five cards, you can send your force your opponent to send five spell cards from the deck to the graveyard. Which is absolutely garbage. Oh my god, did he just open Snake Rain in an Odoic Dix versus me? Uh am I ham boned? I think I'm ham boned. Reptilian Kawaddle? 
What are you doing, MM? You could instant with Jackpot 7. If you force your opponent to use it, maybe. King of the Feral Imps. Ooh, a royal rare King of the Feral Imps. Nice. I just dislike how the last part of Shupidin exists. Wait, what what do you mean? The Ninja War? What if Konami released virus cards that banish instead? Kek? <gasps> That'd be great. And a royal king of feral imps too. Wait, do they have another royal? I said royal king of feral imps. Kurus, the Ogdoadic Light. Oh no, I don't have any monsters in my graveyard, so you can't. I can't gain any effect off of this. The old show that wasn't overrated was Samurai Champloo. I think that one is appropriately rated. Shippuden would have been much better if they stuck to Madara as the main villain rather than proceeding into the Ototsuki bullshit. Agreed. I'm not sure why they did that. But then when I saw the, the new manga he created, it made sense. From what I've heard, the character... Not the character, the person who made Naruto. Um, he wanted to make all of his characters basically like furry people at first, but... His editor stepped in and told him, no, you can't do that. And his editor kept telling him no and a whole bunch of things and to change the game, the, the, the manga, to be much better. Yeah, the editor was MVP. The thing is, once Naruto started to become super popular, and also like the editors changed, because the, the editors change very often from what I understand in Shonen Jump, like, the new editors that were assigned to him were too afraid to tell him no, since he was so popular. And then that's when it started going to shit. So what he needed was his original editor to just stay with him the whole time. To just keep telling him no. A furry Naruto sounds... He wanted to make, like, everyone animals. Not, like, furries, but, like, actual just animals. Well, kind of furries, yeah. He, he, he might have wanted someone to be furries, too. But he really wanted so many of his characters to be animals at first. And like Zabuza, he wanted Zabuza to be like a dog. It's like, it's a good thing his editor told him no. Yes, it's FTK. <gasps> I want to see him FTK. I'm pretty sure this is Bispoken FTK. Well. Good. Like My Little Pony with ninja magic. Exactly. Unchained Abomination. Yeah, that's basically what the, the dude wanted to make, was My Little Pony with Ninja Magic. How come this one is insect, reptile type randomly, and the other ones aren't? Wish me luck. Good luck. Performer Pal Swing Cobra. Wasn't this card in my video of worst pendulum monsters in the game? There was an earthbound monster that if you skipped your battle phase, you could drop your opponent to one with no downside. What? In the anime, you mean? He changed insects with that link monster. But it's reptile. Bestie? <gasps> Nova! Did you finish your stream? Did you hit your, your 16k subs subscribers? We just got done making tier lists. I talked about how all the anime that people like are bad. Yes, I did. Oh, excellent. Congratulations on your 16,000 children that you birthed yourself because you are their dad. Alien Shock Trooper. <gasps> Imframe. How do they perform the FTK? Like, what do they do for the damage? You yeah, the anime life points, by the way? Hmm? Rikudokus only changed the type of the monster it points to? But Rikudokus is gone! I thought she was a dragon, not a seahorse? Who? Oh, Nova! Oh, I guess she is a... Well, she's a gecko, not a dragon. 
But I guess that is pretty similar to a seahorse. But I don't know, she just calls herself Vedette. I don't know why she does that. Alien Shock Trooper. Shock Trooper can put counters to special reptiles from Grave. Probably Link 5 or something. Mmm. The changes remain until the end of the turn? I thought they only remained in while it was pointing, not until the end of the turn. The common FDK needs Math Mech and Transverser. I don't know how it works. Whoa, look at all those cards you just summoned from the graveyard. I mean, seahorses are dragons descendants in Japanese myth. Are they really? Well, that explains Nova's lore. Lamina, Reptilian Hydra. <gasps> oh no, they're gonna draw five cards! Because I control five cards with zero attack. It's a lingering effect. Was used in some experimental builds with Eschato slash Protoss. Oh. Nova Aokami is a seahorse? No, she's a gecko. I knew it. You knew nothing, a sea gecko. <gasps> All my cards are destroyed. I needed those. Oi, and Kingdra is a dragon. Is it? Nova's a gecko? Yeah. That's why she has a gecko as her, like, Oshi mark. You're a gecko? No, I'm a spider. Well, she did have all those 16k kids and is a dad. Exactly. <gasps> Water Lily? Did you just draw into that, Imin? The gecko works because she keeps forgetting she has ice power lore. <laughs> That's because she's a gecko. Geckos don't have ice powers. The more you know? Exactly. Aaron. The Ogdoadic King. This person is just playing Solitaire? That's what FTK decks are. I'm interested in this particular FTK because you don't see it very often. And I kind of want to do it myself. <gasps> Cosmic Slicer Zerol. You better not fuck this up, Im. Not a lizard, a blizzard. Ooh. Do you hear that, Nova? When they call you a lizard, you can say, you're not a lizard, you're a blizzard. Bish Balkan. Wow, they drew into Monster Reborn? Holy shit. May time? Alright, here you go. Wow, how did you have enough points for May time? Dual logs I've been watching since 2016. Glad I got you live. Holy shit, you've been watching since the days of the gimmick deck replays. Wait, where's the FTK? All you did was build up a board that doesn't let me use monster effects. I don't use monster effects. Even if it's not an FTK, it's an impressive first turn nonetheless. Yeah, look at all those cards they got. Hopefully they have spell trap negates. That's what you get for calling me a gecko? I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong though? Where's the lie? Am I wrong? Did I say anything wrong? Yeah, she's a seahorse. Send one random card from their hand to the graveyard. <laughs> I'm playing chain burn. I'm not a gecko? Oh. Are you sure about that? Okay, let's put a whole bunch of cards. Face down. And then end turn. The insurance gecko. <laughs> Unchained abomination is going to destroy my indestructible cards. Okay, M M. Nova insurance win. Good question. Uh, equal to the life points. Destroy the face of monster. And if you do. Does this work if I use it on one of their monsters? Okay. And then we activate Ceasefire. And then we activate Just Desserts. Will it still go off even though he no longer is a valid target once his life points get low enough? 
chain everything. I'm trying, I'm trying. And then we just deserts. I said five crimes in my turn. That's a nice dual kingdom vibe. Yeah. Who's really gonna FTK who? Hmm. The Ayo insurance, like Nova Ayo Kami. <gasps> Ayo. Oh wait, I just noticed she says Ayo a lot. Doesn't isn't it because her name's Nova Ayo Kami? Is that why she says Ayo a lot? That has to be. Ayo. Ogdoadic Overlord. <gasps> Send all of the monsters to the graveyard. Im Im, why did you activate that immediately after I used my last card? You goddamn cheater. Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Okay, and then we'll set a card that they can't destroy. Hello, Mr. Longs. Hello there. Nova is an enigma to us all. <laughs> no, she just types that when she's exasperated. That's a lot of damage. Raigeki? Go ahead and use Raigeki. See if I care. The Sigma male? Who's a Sigma male? Thanks for the sub, Avi Dens. Alter. Dude, so, that reminds me. I was doing my finances. I was calculating all of my expenses and my earnings. And I actually went negative for the first time in like years in August. Like, I made less money than I spent on the channel. And I was like, oh my goodness gracious. I gotta stop spending all my money on so much stupid shit. The audit logs. It, it was more of a combination, though, that I had made less than normal because of certain reasons. And also, I had spent way more than normal because of certain reasons. So it was like an enigma of a month. I can't imagine I'll make as little as I did again next month. And I can't imagine I'll be spending as much as I did in that month. But since it was a, both a month in which I made a lot less than normal, and I spent a lot more than normal, I was like, yeah, it makes sense. Oh no, Yu-Gi-Oh player financial-wise. Yeah. Probably those Millennium Air payouts. Yep, I do count those into it. Like, those are like $500 each. Wow, Im Im. You fucking cheater. <laughs> you play the FTK deck and then play around my back row? Dude. Let me explain what happened here. No graveyard effects? Wait, how come I can't look at the room details? Let me... Wow, there's a lot of games going on in here. Im Im. The replay. Wait, how do I save the replay? The duel logs, the replay. Ranked duel. What, I can't save the replay? I want to save that FTK replay. Anyways, what I was going to say is, um, I had four cards I could chain, but not a fifth one. And as soon as I chained the fourth one, he, he activated an effect in response in order to get rid of two of his cards so he wouldn't die immediately. And, um, you know, activating it there is incredibly suspicious. Because why would you not activate it after the first or second one, you know? Because he activated it exactly at the right time. The in-room replays. Okay, there we go. I still want to save it because I want to I want to have that replay. 
But MM, my buddy, you're playing an FTK deck. Why you gotta cheat too? Okay, who's up next? The cheaters gotta cheat. Man, that was just. One second. Clear. All right, you guys can join now. You deserve that win. Dude, he played around knowing my back row perfectly. Men in a deck full of graveyard effects managed to put up lethal without using a single graveyard effect. Okay, let's randomize it. Terabyte, you're up. How are the duels so far? Excellent. Where are you at, Terabyte? I don't cheat Mr. Logs, I swear. Bullshit. Table five? Okay. Whatever. I expect you guys to cheat anyway. Well, you only had lethal after the last card? No, I had lethal. Now it's the salty logs. Shut up. Are you even human if you don't care about the things you do? I'd rather be salty than uncaring. <gasps> oh man, I know how much Maxi screws over tenies. What are your thoughts on new blue eyes support from MD? They're great. I love it. It's actually good support. Blue eyes still sucks ass, but. You know, as far as support goes, it's pretty good. The Sag. Hey, this deck, remember, Nova? It destroyed your Pendulum deck? This deck is amazing. If you had Lethal, why'd you play another card in the chain, Spider Logs? What do you mean? I would have had Lethal if he didn't know what cards I had face down. But since he did, he was able to play around my cards perfectly. Shut up. What? I'm just saying I won. Nothing else. Why Why? Why should I shut up about that? I'm just telling it like it is, you know? Okay. And then we bring out my circular. Then we can activate circular to spawn discard this card in order to go into the blue eyes white dragon no betting heck no the blue eyes white dragon excellent and then we should probably destroy toad so we don't have to deal with it is this sue ships oh man my nose is itchy <gasps> Ooh, I get Jet Dragon. I forget this procs off destroying your opponent's cards, too. You go with Nova's deck? No, this is my deck. I'm the Blue Eyes player. I've always played Blue Eyes. I play Blue Eyes for longer than I can remember. Okay. Let's destroy this. Send it to the graveyard and then destroy this one. Jet dragon isn't royal. Shut up. Nobody has a royal jet dragon. That's a myth. Oh, <gasps> Shathana. Oh no, he's gonna destroy my jet dragon. And then bring back the the Sioux ship. Psh, whatever. Okay, then I can activate Melody of the Awakened Dragon by sending Whitestone of Ancient to the graveyard. Is this Nova's Gecko deck? Yeah! Oh. Well, whatever. Minnie has two Royal Rare Jet Dragons? No, she doesn't. 
T tell, tell Minnie to stop lying and eating hot chip. Fuck, did I? Oh, I wasn't paying attention for a second. <laughs> I was trying to discard Maxi. <laughs> Not activate Maxi. Fucking shit, I hate it when that happens. I blame the internet. And violent video games. Actually seething? I would rather... Die standing, then live kneeling. Okay. Equip it to a card. Yes. Okay. Let's bounce Sushit back to his hand, so he has to waste resources bringing the card back. Okay. Then we'll activate Branded Fusion. To go into this card. Sending this card and that card to the grave. Lubelion. Then we activate Lubelion by discarding this Blue Eyes card. Bring out Mirror Jade using this card and this card. Ooh, Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. Okay, and then during the end phase, I should be able to use the White Stone of Ancients to special summon Abyss Dragon from the deck. Which will activate its effect during the end phase. To add Levianir! Holy shit! I didn't know I could add Levianir. <gasps> A level 8 or higher dragon monster? That's why I play Levianir. Right. Why didn't you attack? Because I was in the main phase too. I already attacked. I had to attack to get rid of the Todoli Awesome. Then have what with it? Albaz, Despia are ungodly OP. This is... Despia. <gasps> Blue Eyes. Right, why didn't I shotgun Maxi? That was my bad. What are they gonna do? Nothing? Yeah, I can't get rid of this Dino Wrestler Panker Tops unless I can force them to do something. Because they can just chain to destroy. <gasps> More Sioux ships? I played Yu Gi Oh! once. Did you play. Branded Blue Eyes Adventure. Branded in blue. Yeah, it's Blue Eyes Branded Adventure. It works very well with each other. You wouldn't know it. How about Branded Maids? I don't know if that would work. I only know about this one. Wait, what does this do? I don't know. I'll just let it activate because I don't want to read... Reading's kind of cringe, to be honest. I play Magic Key? <gasps> I love Magic Key. Select a target. Okay. <laughs> I can select your targets? <laughs> oh my god, Dictator of D. <laughs> what the hell, man? Why are you so good? While you control Blue Eyes Monster, you choose the attack targets for your opponent's attacks. This card is already busted and it also lets you choose the... I didn't know it could do that. It's not once per turn. Of course it's not once per turn. Well, let me just attack. Like, my board didn't go anywhere. He had a Panker Tops and wasn't able to stop the attack. Also, GG, Mr. Long. I got nothing. Yes, GG, Terabyte. I'm sorry, my Blue Eyes branded adventure deck is too strong for... Okay, let's see. Let's clear the queue. And... Oh, it's already open. Okay, you guys can join. Let me change my deck... ...to something else. Huh. <gasps> The ultimate going second deck? Oh, I fucking love the ultimate going second deck. It's so toxic. Never mind, room is full. Okay. And who are we going against next? Uh, Devoid91, you're up. Where are you at, Devoid91? <gasps> Peanutter! It's Peanutter! 
I've never once seen you in stream before. Ben K O T K. What's your most toxic deck? Shit, I'm still launching. Get someone else. Is Peanutter in here? I'll go against Peanutter in the meantime. I don't even see Peanutter in here. Devoid, where are you at? We're waiting for you. More ads? Yeah, if you don't want ads, you have to use your Twitch Prime. Or sub. Or some other methods I'm not allowed to tell you about. Good old Peanutter? I don't see Peanutter either. He's not in here. He doesn't like me. Peanutter doesn't love me. No one does. Have you guys ever been told that someone loves you by someone who's not a family member? You can't relate. Actually, I can, but... Have you ever been told by someone like that who, who you also liked back? Not someone who you've never... That is cringe, right? Bribe? Where are you at, Void? What's the room code? It's in chat. Type in exclamation point room. Does it count if I'm adopted? Wait, is that not the right room code? Is it 95? Shit, look at Corner Sheep, I guess. Yeah, you bully Fel by streaming while he's asleep. Fel doesn't watch, doesn't know shit about Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, he's asleep? Ads be gone. Thanks for the sub, Jack of most trades. Did you guys know I lost money in August? I think I'm negative, like, uh, $7,000. <laughs> Have you seen a spike of viewership after people quit Hearthstone after the pay-to-win Battlegrounds pass? It's a pay-to-win Battleground pass? What? Before what? I just spent a lot of money and I made a lot less money. He's broke? No, I'm not broke. Normally I profit, so I can afford a 7k loss. Lost what? Who'd you super chat? He needs to ping people for new emotes. Oh yeah, the emotes. He's broke. I'm not broke. August is just a terrible month for ad revenue. And also, I had a lot more expenses than normal. Business expenses. The negative logs. But yes, I was negative $7,000 in August. The broke logs. Where are you at, Devoid? Is it It's Your Boy? Rosemary Super Chats are business expense. No, I don't count like the money I waste on donating to people. Did you open a business? Um, kind of. More like I hired a whole bunch of new people. No Millennium Airs for a while? Dude, for reals. Not unless I get like a whole bunch of new subs. Uh, get the reboot error of one second. Oh, god damn it. It's advertising expenses? Yeah, exactly. There hasn't been one in a, while, a good while. There was one like last week with uh, with Farfa, the the World of Warcraft edition. Why are they all ghosting you today? Who's ghosting me? The only person who ghosts me is um, name redacted. Konami is a small indie studio. You have to understand. I don't know how Konami was able to produce a game like Master Duel. Like the graphics are great, the business model. Not the best, but it's not terrible. And, like, they have every card in the game. You know, minus some of them. And even Magic Arena doesn't do that. Like, people who play Magic wish they had, like, a Master Duel equivalent. Like, Master Duel, as an online simulator, is actually pretty good. And it's so surprising considering Konami's track record. The fact you can dust is amazing. Yeah, like... The, the crafting system is better than Hearthstone's. And I thought Hearthstone had the best crafting system of any TCG. 
They have the code from the previous game. And it's free? Yeah, and it's free too. But then again, free games, I'd rather pay like a one-time fee than, well, table 14. Let's go, Devoid. I've been waiting for you with my most toxic deck. MD is good enough to make the bad parts feel horrible. Yeah, like, it's surprising how good Master Duel is. Like, for as much as people shit on it, and I do too, I, I talk shit about the game all the time. It's surprisingly really good. Like, so good, I wish there was a Master Duel equivalent to other games. It's so good that I had no intentions of quitting Duel Links, but I have no desire to play Duel Links when I can just play Master Duel instead. Fuck, I wanted to go second. Shit. Fuck. I mean, oops, I said a bad word. I mean, freaking heck. <laughs> Cross Duel's amazing. Who plays Cross Duel? Cringe. Uh, we'll add this to my hand. My ears are bleeding. I didn't mean it. It was a joke. The toxic logs. I'm not toxic, I swear. We'll add Canadia. Candina, I mean. Sorry, not Canadia. <laughs> and then we'll go into this guy. So good that I'm shitting and farting right now. I love Master Duel. It's so much fun. As long as you don't get into Platinum. And you just play fun decks. Mom said I can't watch you anymore because you said a bad word. I didn't say a bad word. Shut up. Tell your mom to... S well, don't, don't say that. I was going to say tell your mom to stop being stupid, but then I stopped myself. Candina. Canadian. Shut up. I wish there was a master to equivalent of Digimon TCG. Dude, me too. I would play the hell out of that because the Digimon TCG is actually kind of fun. Well... I've never played it. I can't say that. I just, I like the design of it and I'd like to play it, but there's no Master Duel equivalent, so I can't. Fun deck, he says, while piloting the most monstrosity. This deck is a treat. That's why I'm just stuck in gold because I'm having fun, okay? Yep, I literally stay in gold on purpose. I hate it when I move into platinum by mistake. Need more Digimon games? I just want a Digimon TCG game. I don't want to play Digimon. I remember I played, um, for the PS1, there was this game called Digimon World 3. I didn't play the first two. I, I bought Digimon World 3. And, um... Whatchamacallit. Uh-oh. Got rid of the Toxic Floodgate. Yeah, Digimon World 3. I didn't play it. No, I did play it. I didn't play the first two games, and I was totally lost in the story. And I was like, that's fine. You don't need to play the first two games to play Digimon World 3. And the game was really fucking hard, and it never explained how to actually play the damn game. So I had to figure out everything on my own, like, in the time before internet access. Like, I didn't know what was happening in the story. I didn't know how to play the damn game. And the, the little bit I did play was ridiculously hard. So I just did not have a good time. I didn't like it. So I stopped. And I quit. I got like halfway through the game and I was like, this game is a chore. And like, that was back when, you know. When like... It was it was a PS1 game. So it was like back in the time where you only bought like one game that was all you had for like a month. Where you had to spend like birthday money on buying games, you know? So that was a big deal. I never finished Digimon. Kind of grindy. Digimon World 1 is the best. Yeah, I should have just bought Digimon World 1, but I just thought, you know, hey, it's the third one. Like, whenever I play, uh, Budokai. We'll use DPE. Like, whenever I play the Dragon Ball Z games. Like, you definitely wanted the third version of it. 
you didn't want to play, um, you know, Budokai 1 because the third one was basically the same thing, it just had more characters. There was no reason to play it. So, like, that, that was my logic with it. Like, you know, you don't want that one. Okay, let's go into this one. Do do do. Budokai 3 is amazing. Like, yeah, my favorite Dragon Ball Z game was Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Because it had like a million characters in it. So I was like, sure, of course I'll play the third version of the game. But little did I know that not only does the game not hold your hand, but it doesn't even attempt. It's like, fuck you, you stupid idiot. I hate you. And also you owe me $200. You think we're going to explain how to play your, the game? No. You think it's going to be easy to figure out? <laughs> no. We're going to make it incredibly convoluted and complicated for no reason. That that was my experience with Digimon World 3. I hated it. I remember I was watching some people talk about like Digimon games they played. And one of them was like Digimon World 3. And they're like, oh man, this game was so good. And I was like, what? Did we play the same game? How could anyone like this garbage game? It's actually just garbage. Fuck, I only have dark monsters in the grave. Why is IP Mascarina and this card fucking dark? You have got to be kidding me. Wish people use casual decks in casual mode. Psh. I remember Digimon World 3 was really long. Yeah, it was super long. My favorite DBZ game is DB Super, so I can play as GG. <laughs> Budokai Tenkaichi 3 also had Chi-Chi in it. Budokai Tenkaichi 3 had, like, every character that ever existed. Like, you even play as, like, Hercule. You could play as side characters from the, the filler. You can play as that fat little psychic dude from the Ginyu Force. You could play as Brawly. Brawly was kind of cracked. <laughs> Let's wait, which one is it? This one. Called by? Why didn't you use called by? Are you looking down on me? Do 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 they have the card in the graveyard that stop battle damage? No. Holy crap. My going second deck won against Dinomorphias, the going first deck. <gasps> Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. Whoa. Uh, I gotta go. I got work to do. Let's go over to... Let's send you guys over to... 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 Mari Mari underscore Ian. Dude, I fucking love Mari Mari underscore Ian. She's so funny. You guys will love her. She she says you buy stuff all the time in a very deadpan voice. She'll be like, my name is Mari Mari underscore Ian. And dicks are funny. Ha 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 ha. I'm not doing it justice. She, she's a lot more funnier than that. But she's amazing. Yes, it's Mari Mari underscore Ian. That's how she says it. She says the underscore part too. She has two names? Yeah, like Mari Mari underscore Ian. Among Us. Anyways, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Uh, you can just.